Good day. The purpose of this video is to guide you through how to create item 2, the sales letter. So when we created the sales proposal, uh, we understood the features and some of the facts uh, that the sales team was offering our guests. You can see here again, we took a look at the contact sheet. We understood some of the facts and figures, but now we need to create it a sales letter that's going to go along with that sales proposal. So first thing we're going to do is understand the difference between features and benefits. And that's where chapter six is very helpful. In chapter six, you'll learn the difference between features and benefits. And really the sales letter is all about discussing the benefits. So again, the sales proposal talked about the data, for instance, the amount of rooms or food and beverage and the facts in terms of perhaps the price. But now in, in the sales letter, we want to be a little more persuasive and we want to discuss exactly what benefit is it to the actual customer and what makes it unique that they want to come to our hotel. There are some great examples. Uh, for instance here, again, these are our features, right? So if we have an award-winning chef, that's, that's wonderful. But what does it actually mean um, for the people staying in that hotel? And that's the benefit. And that's what we really want to discuss in our letter. So that's the foundation of the letter in terms of, let's take a look at some of the resources available. Again, we have our forms. And if we go to our forms and we click on Park Shores Electric Stationery, we'll have something that looks like this. So this is where you would actually write your letter. And when you click Create Stationery, it will help have a nice uh, title uh, with the address there. So it looks like a nice official letter. What other resources we have? Well, really important to take a look at the rubric, because that's going to help us guide what should be in the letter. So again, you can see some of the layout expectations. Again, buying conditions we discussed in the sales proposal. Uh, but here, we want to really talk about how those buying conditions are really specifically beneficial for the guests. So again, you know, what, uh, what about the food and beverage is going to be really beneficial for the guest is an example. You also want to write some sort of future contact statement, okay, and also an enclosure. So this is what's considered a proof device. And what that is, is again, just another promotional opportunity, a way to persuade the guests to come and stay with us. And let's take a look at some resources that can help us find some enclosures. So if we go back to our um, material here and we click on Park Shores Sales Presentation Tools, these will give us many enclosures or proof devices. And this is what you'll find. So it's, a, it's basically a PDF with a lot of promotional um, and um, persuasive in material that you can offer your guests. And you can include this in your sales proposal and letter um, in order to persuade the guests that they should stay with you. So again, make it specific to what the guest is looking for. So for instance, if they're looking for a swimming pool, you know, perhaps you want to include this enclosure and as a proof device to show the value um, of what can, can be available for them if that's what they're looking for. So that's what we mean by a proof device, okay? So make sure you have one of those in your sales letter. And finally, another great resource is the actual tips. So uh, some really good sort of advice on how to write an effective sales letter, um, and that will help you through completing this item, item number two. And that should do it for module number one. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this useful.